Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to Inscription with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a game which I have been pressured by all of my friends to play, because apparently this is a game which is right on my alley. It's absolutely bizarre, it gets weirder and weirder, and so far I have managed to stay mostly spoiler-free. All I know, and it's gonna be in the thumbnail of this video, is that when you die, you become a card. That is pretty much all I know, outside of the fact it's being created by the fellow who brought us Pony Island, which itself is absolutely weird and goes really dark in places, so really looking forward to this. I've seen the art style, already in love with it, so let's get going with Inscription. There he is. The lovely fellow who brought us the games. Inscription, press any button to start. Okay then, so straight away, it looks like we're playing through someone else. Ooh, okay, so we have new game, which we can't use. We have continue, options. Uh, how do we... Oh, okay. So it's all just the usual stuff. I'm just going to leave it all by default. So I suppose we're going with continue straight away then. So where are we continuing off from, I suppose, is the question. The word suppose being my favourite today. Oh, hello! Another challenger. It has been ages. Maybe your voice, who knows. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Ooh, okay, so we have wolf, wolf, stoat. Aww, you're adorable. And the little squirrel, which also is adorable. Kind of makes me think of the demon from, um, Disenchanted. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Now, since I think this is basically a roguelike game, I'll probably be skipping a lot after the tutorial, so don't worry, I will be trying to edit this to make it interesting, because I know I can be very slow to play these types of games. Aw, looks like he's asleep. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn, and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power one. Ooh, hello. Your stoat dealt me one damage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So five health each, I suppose. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side. Oh, okay, so it's a shared health pool, so it's, yeah, proper scales. Very interesting. Like this. My turn. So does he not have to sacrifice things then? Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If your creature health reaches zero, it dies. It is your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. So a wolf requires two. I would like to see what else is in the deck, but... Um, Let's upgrade that stoat, then. So we... Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, I just realised, look at the squirrel's eye! Yeah, it's normal there, but you got to sacrifice it, it's all sad. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> that stoat was saying something, then. Fear not, the, beat is, the, be the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Your speech, however, is lost. So we can almost kill him if we just put this down. You know what? I'm going to pop it next to it. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'll get used to the controls later. Oh, well. We just kill his beastie. Because you are learning, I will pass. Okay, I just want to see what else we've got then. Ooh, a turty boy. Hello. There's some of a pet tortoise. I'm very happy to see you, although you're a turtle. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. I know it's silly, but I just want the <laughs> river snapper to get the killing blow. There we go. Well done, Turty boy. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Don't know why I've gained such a soft voice for. I'm going to thinking like evil dungeon master. I think that's the problem. 
I was a DM for multiple years, so it's just kind of in my blood. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Very slight the spire. You were lost deep in the forest for just one thing. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Okay, so we've got a poisonous adder. Or venomous, I suppose. And the undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh! But it costs one, so... That is the cost, isn't it? Yeah, it's the cost there. Ooh! It's like a rule book. Can I just... Okay, we'll, we'll get to all that when we get to it. Um... I like the adder, but the cat's brutal. Let's go with the cat. Another creature joined your caravan. Now I think about it, I don't know how many expensive things I've got, so maybe that was a terrible idea. Wish I could look at my deck. Is there any way to look at the deck or move out? Ooh. Oh, is this my deck? Oh, okay, so if you press forwards twice, you can look at your deck. So we have the river snapper. Yeah, maybe the cat wasn't worth it. What are you, then? You came across an abandoned sack. Squirrel in a glass bottle. Okay, you found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. You may have a second. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh! Another useful imp- Oh! Do I get to tamper with the scales with it or something? I mean, it's a pair of pliers. Interesting. So I should use that if I'm just about to win and we're in a bad position. And we just need a, a point or two. I don't know how many points it's going to give us, though. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. What's on the board? Oh, hello! Man, I should give you a voice. Uh, um, okay, so you talk. You may see my moves ahead of time. Can I? Oh, okay, she's so gonna play a wolf cub. What does that do? This card, uh, the card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. Oh, I love the stoat. Love that. Um, would it be worth putting down the cat turn one so then next turn I can get the river snapper and the cat will still be alive? Or should I start plinking some damage at him? So that's going to go there, then become a more powerful form. So I assume it will turn into just the standard wolfy boy. Need I remind you, your items may help you. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put down the stoke. Let's just get one point of damage in. Here we go. Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Bat. Airborne. A card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing Okay, yeah, it's flying, it does what you'd expect. Um could do squirrel into cat, next turn cat and squirrel into a river snapper, or I could put down a squirrel now, but I kind of feel like I need that these for stronger fights than this. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to chill, I'm just going to go boop, and that into a kitty cat. Yeah, I wish I had the adder now. Does that mean I can't hit the bat with my stoat, though. I guess we'll see very soon. Uh, I actually kind of want a wolf more than the river snapper. The, 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 the sheer low attack is going to be not great here. Okay, see if we can... Yeah, there we go. Got a wolf. Let's put down one of the squirrels in the bottle, and let's wolf it up. Okay, so we can hit flyers. Got it. So now if I squirrel, I can put the river snapper here and it'll absorb the damage and eventually win as well. So yeah, squirrel plus cat equals river snapper, obviously. Now here's the issue. The, the cat's now just taking up a space and I can't get rid of it. I'll just draw last card. Kind of want to see what the pliers do, but I'm going to leave it for now. I don't think I get the items back, right? A victory. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now blooded terrain. Your voice is changing slightly every time. The wolf club, a uh, cub, and ooh, a little sparrow. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive if feeble flying creature. I like the wolf cub, just for one. It takes one turn, then becomes a normal wolf, but it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, I like, I like the wolf cub. Oh man, so many symbols. I guess we'll get used to this over time. 
What are you? You stumble in some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. The wolf cub or the cat? Why only those two? Can I look at the rest of my deck? Why, what makes them special? Oh, is it the... These have effects, right? That's interesting. So if we give the cat effect to something stronger, when it gets sacrificed, will it go back to full health? I'm, I'm trying to think of how to make this good. Wait, what would happen if I give the wolf cub effect to someone? Oh, if it even is that, though. I'm just trying to think of what other games. It looks like a fusion thing to me, but... I actually, now I've said that, I don't know if that's the case. Maybe it's just a matter of those are worth... You know what, uh, Wolf Cup, I've only just got you. I'm gonna find out. Oop. <laughs> kind of want to give it to the cat. Okay, you said pick me, so clearly this is a good thing. I think I was right. I th yeah, I think I was right on the money there. What happens, though? Does it just turn into a wolf after one turn, or does it do something... I'm gonna find out, okay, um, I guess I'm just gonna make you into a stronger wolf cub if that's the case. Oh, yeah, I think I've, I think I've messed up. Will it just turn into a wolf? I don't get how this effect works. I haven't got to test it out yet. More powerful form after one turn on the board, but is it specific? Yeah, I don't know if it's specific. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it is specific. If it is, then I've messed up here. <laughs> oh! You're glowy boy. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. <laughs> Good, you're possessed. That's helpful. I've got to be honest, I think I may have actually seen that effect from a uh, Twitter picture or something. I'm trying to think. I've been only minorly spoiled. I know that when you die, you get to become a card for future runs. I know that. I think I saw that effect. So it seemed like I was a smart there-ish. No. Ooh, what are you? Behold my totem, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne. So you can have fly <laughs> flying doggos, cool. <laughs> it's completely insane, you see that, right? No care for the rules. Don't know what voice I'm giving you here. And it keeps me around to watch me suffer. Oh, that's not great. Um, I mean, okay, we can go straight with the stoats so we can see what the effect does. Okay, I think I'll put it where the bat is, because that way you can take out the bat after a turn. Can't, oh, okay, so I can't draw first turn. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Back on the board. Yeah, it's flying. Don't even want to know what that looks like. Oh, Lord, there's a lot of that. Oh, 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 what's happened? What has happened there? Elder Stoat! Okay, I've just made him old. Oh, crud, my health is... Um, if we lose, do we just lose straight up? Okay, you'll kill you, but then I'm going to hit by for two points of damage, which is way too much. I could just put a squirrel there, I guess? And just take the... No, it's a flyer! Damn! Could sac no, no, no. I could use the other squirrel. So, squirrel... Squirrel says both my items gone except for the pliers. There we go. That's gonna be loads of damage to them. You're three damage away from winning. I really want to know what the pliers do, but I'm gonna save it. Let's just super win. There we go. And that's a pretty decent kill. Even overflowed at the end. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Okay, so three cards this time. The Sparrow. The Flighty Elk. It moves after attacking. Okay. 2-4 two, for 2. Hmm. The Conniving Raven. A Blight upon the skies.
I don't know. I mean, the Riven's good for just getting damage out, but the Elk, that's a tank. Let's go with the Elk. Probably should have at least one flying card in my deck, I guess. Probably not the best call there. Look at the Stoty boy. Okay, so that's a sacrifice. That's... Ooh, wait a second. Oh, I should have got the flyer. I could have made something flying. I am dumb. I am dumb. Let's go with the fire then. What's the fire do? It's like the spire. It's an upgrade, so... That is creepy as sin. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked up upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, it will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. <laughs> so this increases what now? Their power, what does power mean? Is that attack? Health? I kind of want to give it to the... Mm. Okay, I don't know if this is a trap. It looks like a risk-reward thing. I don't think I want to sacrifice... Ooh, the river snapper would be good, though. Loads of health, they add a bit more attack as well. Though I kind of love the, atta <laughs> the cat attacking. Uh, let's go with the river snapper. The fire warmed the poor river snapper, enhancing its power. So it is attack. One of the survivors reached towards it... Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pull the river snapper away from the fire. Oh. So I'm guessing there's a chance that can go wrong. Okay. Oh, another um, bag there for items. Cool. So I think I'll go for that one next, since I've just used up both of the squirrels. But first, we'll fight. What have I got? Grand Furs. What is that symbol? Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing air ball. Okay. So that'll block the- Whoa, a 4-6! Hello, that's not very nice. Um, squirrel into cat, and then next turn we can put down the wolf. God, that's a lot of damage. Well, I guess for now, just squirrel cat. Another grizzly. I don't see how I'm meant to win this one, honestly. Guess I could use the pliers, see what they do. That'll hit for three, but then that's dead. I. Okay, pliers, what do you do? Ooh. What? <laughs> That literally made me grab my jaw. Did I just rip out a tooth? Are they all... T no, they're not all teeth, are they? Are they? A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Yeah, no, I had to die, honestly. Yeah, I can't win this, can I? I, I literally can't win this, right? I either hit that one or hit that one, it doesn't really matter which. Oh wait, with that movement would I have destroyed the tree? That's actually a bad thing to do. Well, there's me gone. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay, so we are in a room. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, you can kind of see his head now that we're up. Is it like fur? I have a sneaking suspicion that's not a human. Okay, so what... We have like a, a hammer and a staff? Is it like a little walking stick? I'm not sure what that is actually. Can I click on you? No. We have a clock. I imagine these things will come into play later then. No idea. That's literally a picture of where we started, right? Weird. We have a safe. 
Oh, little portraits like what we've been using, right? Something tells me I'm not the first one here. We have Glitch Room, the candlestick, but wait a second, let's look at the things. A squirrel holding a knife. Not allowed that, apparently. So we need a key. Ooh, other candlestick. Uh, I want to say a wolf. Globe, yeah. Ooh. Oh, we are really close to him. Do not like that. Do not like that. Stop looking at me. Mr. Leary. Uh, pff, candlestick it is. Bring it here. I'm starting to think I've gave him the wrong voice. It's now five o'clock. No, it's not. <laughs> it's close to five o'clock. Sure. I'm going to put it to midnight. It's the only one I can think of. Okay, let's put it at midnight. I could try every hour. <laughs> yes! Random stupidity wins the day. What is that? Does it fit? It's a ring. I've opened that too early, haven't I? I was just going to do every hour. Okay, we could be here and check every time, but no, let's... G yes. Random dumb... Oh, hand! Oh, do not like the hand. Do not like your hand. Put it away. Have to keep pausing at the moment because people are working outside. It's a construction day, apparently, today, so I keep pausing the recording. It's getting very distracting. Now sit back down. No! There's a shop. Okay, sure. Let me explain something to you. I have two lives. That's basically what we're t being told here, isn't it? That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another mistake, I must sacrifice you. Yay, we're a squirrel! Now, where were we? Yeah, I'm now completely out of items, so let's go with that. I'm guessing that's the boss at the end. Though I do kind of like the extra power. Uh, give extra power to something? If we give the, the stoat extra power, does it carry on to his elder form as well? So it would be a 2-3, then a 3. I think it got plus 1, plus 1, didn't it? Oh, I can't remember it's that long. I know it went with extra, one extra attack, but... I love the snapper having extra attack because the extra health. That's a risk. I think the items might be better, though. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, the items are more fun. I just realised I haven't even looked at our model. What are we? Cat. Okay. Porcupine. Sharp quills away to those who dare attack it. So... Is this a no! I didn't mean to... I'm getting used to the controls. I thought, since I was mousing over... I just wanted to check what that ability did. That's all I wanted to say. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing a sigil is struck, the striker is dealt a single point of damage. Okay, I mean, I still like that. It's a one cost, yeah? Yeah, I actually quite like that. It's fine. I'm sure the last card was rubbish. Ooh. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Its bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. Oh, choose one. I thought it was going to give me all three. Then what? Yeah, that's good. Skipping a turn is huge in games like this. I mean, come on, any card game. Sacrifice a turn is brutal. Lose a card is brutal. I think honestly, skip a turn, right? That, that's better, right? It let me do more. But this could be one of his big cards. I like the black goes, but I'm thinking one of these two. Seen that sigil quite a lot, actually. The one on its head. I think that's like the sacrifice sigil when you're killing the squirrels. Skip it out. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Okay, so we have to choose again. Oh, the really horrible one, please. And let's cut up some people. Feeling overburdened enough with all three items you carried on. Oh, that's really good. So you always go to three, I wonder? What? No, I, I want to see me. No, let me... Can I please see my character more? It's like a mushroom. Oh, or am I holding a parasol or a bag? I don't know.
The tree- ooh! Boss music. The tree seemed to close in around you as, you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A horrid- sorry, a hobbled figure stood in your path. <laughs> Yeehaw! Twas the prospector! Nope, not do that voice. <laughs> oh, I love that! He's doing the prospector again. Easy, boss. The mule's the key. The mule's key. Mule. What, what is the mule? That's the mule. Pack mule. So you're gonna try and move, and then we've got a little coyote there. Um, I guess squirrel into stoat, so we can get the stoat's bonus going up and running. Oh, he has two lives! I'm just trying to look at the... Okay, I'm trying to look at the everything, because I know this game's meant to be packed with secrets and stuff, so I really should start looking more. Oh, <laughs> look at his face! <laughs> I love it! Um... Yeah, I mean, squirrel into stow, right? That's the play here. This bat, you sure? His voice changes every time. Yes, I am sure. Shut up. Uh, we could just kill the pack mule then with the scissors. I mean, we're talking about that. How do you activate the items? Why didn't let me even look at them? Oh, I have to draw first before anything. Okay. I don't guess it's a squirrel for now. I mean, it's just white. So I'll eventually- Oh no, I just realised. I'm really dumb. I am really dumb. I'm gonna be just mauled to death by the- Uh... I could make him skip a turn now. I could just cut up the mule and see what happens. Then I can start putting some damage through. The next turn I'm gonna get the two squ- Oh, in that case, actually, skip a turn might be better. Skip a turn. The next turn we get the other squirrel, we can kill the coyote, we are gonna almost kill the pack mule. Yeah. I'll pass my next turn. Yeehaw. Yes, you are. So now, squirrel, squirrel, and I'll put down the wolf. So he's got a poison one there. I'll just let the pack mule die. What happens there then? Oh, pack mule! It's a pack of cards. Dag nabbit my mule. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? You did. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Okay. Three, four, five. Oh, do I just win? Okay, I actually want to see if it's five. Um, oh, is that really dumb, though? Is that really dumb? It probably is. You know what? Uh, I'll put on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do I need any more squirrels right now? No, I'll draw a squirrel anyway. Squirrel into the porcupine. So that way we kill the adder as well. So it is five, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's still five damage, so I should have done that anyway. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. <laughs> There's gold in them cards. <clears throat> that was not your voice. What? <laughs> gold! <laughs> I've struck gold! What? Okay, you know when you see something you can't unsee it? I honestly thought that was like a little machop in the middle there. The I, I. <laughs> oh no, so any cards you have after the first phase get turned to gold. Is that right? I can't really play anything then. Can I? Because I put down a squirrel. Bloodhound. When the posing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, the opposite to an empty space, the card bearing the sigil will move to the. Oh, okay, so you'll always move in front of my cards. I guess then, really, I should just wait? These act like the things before, right? So, you'll destroy that, then I can put down two squirrels and kill you with, um... The poison boy. Actually, I kinda want another wolf, so I'll do that. Cat. I'll just... white then, I suppose. <laughs> Get him! There he is. So, oh! 
I thought it meant... Okay, I misread that. I thought it was going to move as I attack with a creature. Okay, the wolf's going to instant kill and put on more pressure than the snake would. There we go. Okay, they put on a snake as well. I'd like to put down the cat. So the cat's there now with the wolf. You know what? I was done. I could have won then. I could have won because I could have done Sparrow plus the wolf. That would be four. Then I could have used the pliers. Just drag out another tooth. And then that would have been five. Because I think that was worth one or two. But I can't do that now because if I try and sacrifice the cat, I haven't got space. Ah, that was dumb. Could have won that turn. Could have won. Lesson learned then. I mean, I win now anyway, right? Yeah, because the sparrow will go over, so I've got to draw a squirrel or whatever. Uh, I win regardless, but I don't know what else is going to do. So you know what? I'm going to put down a stronger play. So you and you. Put down the big old snappy boy. That'll bring you to zero. I win. First boss dealt with. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Achievement unlocked. Minus Bane. You've overcome the first boss. As a reward, you're granted the opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Four blood. Seven seven. <laughs> That's terrifying. Does that mean it just becomes a one four? Child 13. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to kill it? Is it like a dragon or like a... I kind of saw a squirrel to begin with. Maybe I'm just seeing too many squirrels. That's weird. Why would I want that over the cat, though? I mean, it's essentially the cat, right? There's got to be more to it than that, because otherwise it's just printed the same card twice. Yeah, I'm going to go over lava. I'm really interested. See, the wolf turned into a wolf. My stoat simply gets plus one, plus one, or plus one, plus two. I forgot to look. So what I think is... I, t I still don't know if it's, like, generic, the bonus, or not. I don't quite get that, so that's a way to science. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm... The rank smell of rot and mould permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Bullfrog. Okay, so it has the anti-flyer ability. Moosebuck. 3-7. And a river snapper. Um... What's with the mushrooms? I mean, I was tempted by the river snapper anyway. I quite like the really high... I see, three blood just seems so extreme and so difficult. I like the bullfrog, the bullfrog getting in the way, but we can just kill flies normally. I'm gonna go with the river snapper. Okay, I'll be honest, I was hoping the mushroom would do something. I think it might just be there for aesthetics. So we still have the pliers, we still have the um, scissors. So we have the sacrifice the more items and the fire so with the sacrifice we could sacrifice the porcupine and give it to the stoat oh or the porcupine and give it to the river snapper two six and when it gets hit it hits back or we could just increase the power of one which i think is really good as well making both river snappers stronger or one of the river snappers stronger or even the stoat i mean okay, that would turn the stoat into an absolute powerhouse or more items, though it would only be one item, so we already have two. I kind of like the idea of the porcupine river snapper hybrid. So if I'm correct, from what we saw last, yeah, only the effect ones. So porcupine plus. Oh, the stoat didn't appear. Okay, so you can only do this once then per thing. That's good to know. I didn't think that was the case, but okay. Spiky boy.
Onwards to the next fight. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. So it's fight makes you want to have a voice. <laughs> Be silent while I tear you to shreds. <laughs> I've only just thought, does that mean he's a past plier? Uh, again, I kind of wish... I so yeah, f I have seen a few little things over the last, like, two weeks. Kingfishers. The card bearing a sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its... Oh, so I can't actually hit it directly. Ooh, hello, hand. Uh, well, I guess the usual then. Squirrel into... Stoat. Yeah, I'll just put it there. I mean... Just use it to deal damage to, a, to every turn, so it's going to be equal with the Kingfishers, right? Being really aggressive seems to be a good way forward in this game. Not like... Not I really have been so far, but... Since it's like a scale system, it's basically a, a defense as well. Yeah, so I hit for two. Now it's an Elder Stoat. Lobo hit for one. We're even. Is that another submerged one coming for... Aww, it's the Lotter. Cute. But I want my... Wolf out this time. Yeah. I keep double-clicking them for some reason. Don't know why I'm doing that, but there we are. So now we're doing five. He's going to do three each turn. So I'm just winning by two. So I basically win, right? Unless he plays something very strong there. I'll just grab a squirrel. And there we are. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. You see, he just comes across as a really, <laughs> as a really smug dungeon master. That's, that's all he is to me. Interesting. To be precise, a tooth to So they are teeth! For each extra damage dealt, the trapper may be interested in your spoils. The trapper? Oh, I can see a trap there at the end. Look. Okay. Okay, the, the fawn turns into the... I quite like these ones, which like evolve over time. The otter and the beehive. When it's attacked, you'll draw a bee. Can I choose none? I'd rather have a smaller deck sometimes. Um, Beehive seems more fun. I don't... See, I don't like the idea of the submerge one that much. I think I'll go with the elk fawn. For now. So I could sacrifice one. So once again then, now I have the timer effect. So if I give that to the other river snapper, it'll be a 1-6, which will evolve into a 2-7 the next turn. If I give it to the cat, will it just turn into a 1-2? And then if you sacrifice it, will it come back with that effect? Oh, I see. I'm really curious about that. Is the sacrifice effect... Will the sacrifice effect keep other effects? That's my question. Why else do we have a fire extra attack? I mean, extra attack on the river snapper would be insane. A 3 6 with the spike back. Or on the stoat. Or even on the. Why is this strange lava? Oh, because it's a rare card, isn't it? Is that why it's a different color? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, just go with the bonus attack. Or bonus health in this case. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. <laughs> That's worrying. No way. I'm tempted. Oh, extra health on the river snapper, though, with that attack. But that would just make this thing just impossible. But I kind of want to strengthen the weaker cards. Why is the elk fawn's cost like blotted out? Do you see that? Um, extra health on the strange lava, maybe, so we can definitely have its effect go off. Again, don't know what the effect is, but I want to see it. No, let's go with, with the river snapper. I quite like the river snappers. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Oh, I maybe shouldn't do that every single time because that is going to be a risk, isn't it? It's me. We have a bee and a bullfrog. Um, I think I'm just going to put it like this. Then it'll take out the bee. And the bee went... Hey! That's mean! 
I think it's a good call. Because the bee will hit over you, but then you'll take out the bee. And then turn after that. Oh, yeah, the next turn you'll start doing two. Which will make us equal. Mantis. No, no, no let, let me look at the mantis. What was that effect? A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of them. Ooh, that's a problem because I'm low health. Uh, wait, no, I can put on the wolf now, can't I, to kill the bullfrog anyway, so... Question. Is that going to do two damage to me or one damage to me? If it hits like this... Oh, when the wolf's there, never mind. The wolf will absorb one the hit, so it'll deal one to me? Oh, I don't know how that works. You come down, so you're dead. You do two, so we're equal. You do one, then, I guess. Okay, I think we're right to do this. I gotta be honest, the wolves have been the main card I've been using. Oh, we are low on health, but it's okay, because we're gonna get three through this turn. You are not going to hit. I like that we go first. I mean, what can do really is this. Yeah, then we get hit for two. Put down the wolf. So we hit for two, we take away one of theirs. Oh, an overkill as well. Wait, we got the bee? I thought the... Did I misunderstand that? Why did I get the bee? Oh, the bee's free. No cost. Cool. But I thought the bee was given to the owner of the beehive. Also, can flyers hit flyers? That, I mean, makes sense, right? Let's find out. Flyers do not hit flyers. That actually surprises me quite a lot. So that's a lot of overkill. And overkill gives us the extra coins, doesn't it? Just kind of hoping I could get another wolf for that. Oh, wait, I don't have another wolf, do I? I was thinking about sacrificing the stoat for an extra attack to get more overkill. As it stands, though, we're going to get loads of overkill. Yeah, look at that lovely toothy money. Beautiful. You were stopped along the way by a trapper, looking to liquidate his pelt. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me pelt? Uh. They're pretty rubbish, aren't they, for cards? Are those like, like the boulders? Uh, oh, I thought you have to drag them. Okay, we have a load. Uh, oh, pff, I have a golden belt then. I'll just have the golden belt, thank you. You're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. I did, that's one to leave, thank you. Thanks for your business. Kind of look like he had ice cream on his head then. Sorry, I'm very distracted. The man assured you of the value of the, of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. Then why did I pick them? But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. If you had a patience of anything other than a goldfish, you would have quickly realised I would have explained it to you. I mean, I, I kind of just love the extra attack and extra health on the thing, so... Um, would you have two items to... Yeah, we still got two items, that's really good. I'm just going to upgrade one of the cards again. I know it's risky. It looks like I'm going to lose a card eventually, but extra attack. That's all I wanted to say. Warmer creature by the fire? Yes. Pick someone else. Fine, then. This... You know what? That's Elkthorn. Yeet. 2-1. Okay, so we still got it. Okay, we have a tree on our so oh, There's the golden pelt. That's so useless. Uh, well, I guess I could get it in the way of the coyote for a while while I get the uh, rabbit pelt as well. Oh, but they can't block... Wait, do they block air? But nope, because the ground fur has an eight-block airborne sigil. Uh, squirrel into cat, I guess. Not a good start. I'll put it there because the kingfish is never going to hit it because it's flying, and I'll put down the golden pelt there. Oh, I don't lose it if it dies, do I? 
You don't lose normal creatures, so I'm assuming not. Ah, oh, what a rubbish start. Oh, no. Okay, we need to draw the stoat. Or any good one cast. Nope. So next time I lose, don't I? No, wait, they're only one damage each. No, I don't. Okay, well, one more turn, then, then I might have to use one of these. Oh, can you sacrifice the pelt? I didn't even check if you could sacrifice the pelt. I'm so daft. I was thinking about the boulders. You couldn't sacrifice the boulders. I could get the squirrel and put down the elk. That'll kill the coyote. But then we still lose. We've only got one life. Was that just a bad hand or did I play badly then? Yeah, we only have one life left at the moment. Um, yeah, if I get a squirrel, I can sacrifice cat. And the squirrel to put down something which attacks attack th Okay, I think, I think I know how to do this without using the items. So, squirrel, double sacrifice into elk. That'll hit for two. And for the time being, put down the pelt. That'll take the hit. So we deal two, they deal two. It's equal. Come on, Stoat. Darn it. Gonna have to use the um, scissors. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, yeah, he moves, doesn't he? Okay, so he's gonna be locked at four damage now because of the otter coming down. So, take out the sparrow. He'll be trapped there and he'll take the hit. He'll do two damage, which makes it even again. Unless he moves. Should have put it there, shouldn't I? I should have put the wolf there to guarantee the three damage through. See, I don't know how this is going to happen. So, he hits first, then he'll move. He'll come down and hit. Wait, no, he's stuck at the moment. I don't know how it works. I'm going to have to use the pliers. That was dumb. Should have put the wolf on the right. Guaranteed the three damage. Okay, let's watch the elk. Yes, the elk moved. That was the right call. I would have died just then. I would have died if I didn't use the pliers. But now we're okay, because we're going to do three, four, five damage. He's only doing three damage. Oh, we had to use two. Yeah, if I played the wolf on the right, I wouldn't have had to use the pliers. I would have had one more item. For whichever boss is next. Oh, the strange lava. Okay, let's see what you do then. Oh, I do I just win? No, cool. So I get to see what the strange lava does. Strange pupa. Nice dope. Yeah, we just win now. I can't really stop the winning, which is a shame. I kind of wanted to see um, what the pupa becomes. Evil butterfly? I'm assuming evil butterfly. Ooh, the mantis. Okay, I love that effect. Also, I like bugs and I've had many. Um, essentially, until the whole lockdown thing, every year I would get a new pet mantis from the various pet expos in the country because I have lots of exotic pets and I love mantis, but they live a very short time. Essentially, most of them live for a year. So I've got a, a very, very soft spot there for the mantis. What's with the mushroom? I don't get it. I don't get... What's the mushroom telling me? Oh, it's double. Oh, is it telling you you've already got one in the deck? Oh, I can't remember. What, okay, I'm not saying that's definitely it because I can't remember what the last one had with the mushroom. Either way, I'm taking the mantis. Yeah, soft spot the mantis. Extra damage on the mantis would be insane if it damages like I think it damages. Damn health. Health isn't as good. Um, I mean... 
It'd be nice in the Mantis to take a hit, but I think if you're being hit, you're basically dead anyway, so... Hey, Wolf. Hands its health. I kind of wanted to put it on the, uh, the Snapper, but I didn't want to risk it. Okay, so we retreated again. I think I got very lucky there. Ooh, incoming next boss. What? My boss battles are high stakes, tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. I'm also now realising how I think I'm going to do the runs from here. I'm probably just going to skip straight to whichever fight I died on. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, how generous of you. Oh. I didn't expect it to be an actual card, okay? I thought you were just being a bit of a dip. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. <clears throat> nope, that voice will kill me. Go fish. Oh, I love the back. Is that like fish hanging up? Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love a good atmosphere. Ooh, the lava straight away. What is the smoke? Oh, it's just a free, just sacrificial card, isn't it? Oh, I have the pelts in my deck as well. Just thought. Okay, yeah. Squirrel straight into the lava. I'm very curious what you do. Which fish? Which fish? <laughs> Hard choose. You gonna kill it? Oh, come on. Uh. So you want to kill the smoke? Fresher fish. Easy choose. <laughs> oh. Can you sacrifice the smoke on a side note? You can. Oh, actually, the smoke's pretty good and you can sacrifice it. Um, I guess I don't want to play anything else. I was just about to say, oh, we can do Squirrel River Snapper, but if it's going to... Is this, is this, so he's just going to kill that card, isn't he? That's his gimmick. He's going to kill a card each turn. Oh. He's going to steal a card. Oh, of course he's a fisherman. Why wouldn't he steal a card? Mine now. Go fish. Mothman! Seven three. Okay. Okay. Take that, fishy boy! Y'all seen Mothman? Mmm, stale fish. Hard choose. I can do Squirrel Squirrel, sacrifice for a river snapper, and then play another squirrel. But here's the thing. The last time we had a boss and it went to phase two, it killed my board. So I'm just gonna put down a squirrel. New fish. Easy choose. I would have thought as well, I'm completely blocking him off from attacking. Oh, this is an easy boss, if you know what... See, I say that. Uh, what's the best sec um, second phase is just really complex, and I just instantly die. Mothman! Take that, lad. Oh! Fudge. That, that, that made me jump. Too fast. Too soon. What the f... <laughs> Satan Grizzlies! I'm not allowed to get past it. Is this... It's scripted, isn't it? I can't... I, I can't win that. I can't win that. Squirrel. Uh, squirrels. Squirrels, squirrels, squirrels. I like squirrels. Turn to a dog then for a second while saying squirrel, but you know. <laughs> there we go. I'm dead. I'm dead. Obviously, I'm dead. Well done, Muffman. I don't even have any items, do I? <laughs> you cheating bugger! You son of a carp! Blood artist, is it cheat? Oh! Bloody hell. Oh, I've jumped twice in the span of like a minute, that's good. I'm assuming... Oh, this is the flashy, glitchy room. What's in the flashy, glitchy room? 
Oh, you can kind of see his face, just about. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Also, I had to stop them for like two minutes between those sentences because I was having a coughing fit and once again outside was really loud. Before you expire, I must ask you a favour. I would like a memento. Memento Mori. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be a perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from which from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to Oh, so this is my death uh this is like the um Death card, the me card, whatever. I know you become a card, so I guess this is it, isn't it? Please choose a card. Uh, please choose a card to draw the cost from. Do I want it to be good or bad? I'm assuming good. So let's go with the rabbit belt, because that's free, right? The cost of free from the rabbit belt. And another. This time I will choose the power and health. The numbers. Well, the Mantis is terrible for that then, because it's only a one. Oh, I didn't get to use the Mantis. Only a 1-6. For free, it's pretty good. Now choose a card from which you attract to extract the sigils. What's a sigil? Oh, the sigils are the effects, aren't they? Duh. Uh, strange Lava, then. I mean, I like the spikes. I'm not too keen on the movement one, but yeah, just... That means it'll become a 2-7. If it goes with the wolf rules, um, when it was given to the stoat. <laughs> if it's, yeah, the, the uh, wolf cub rules. A sigil of fledgling. From the strange lava. I never did ask your name. Lathipoo. I am Lathrix. Enter. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Cheese! You do not need to smile. I'm always smiling. So I guess that's run one done then. Yeah, here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes, for any reason. Oh, the stoat's back asleep. Here's a question, did that last player, the one who we heard, actually die because of that? Because it went like, screen grainy. So it could have been a while now, I'm, I'm trying to theorise what's going on. So if I... So I said you get bones when... I'm actually going to look back at the footage, because I didn't quite understand what he just said. Okay, so it was, when your creatures perish for any reason, so I assume sacrificing... Ooh, don't want to put that there then. Also counts, yeah. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. Sleepy Stoke does one damage. Rattler does three to me. I'll draw a squirrel, I'll sacrifice them both for a wolf, and also put down the opossum, which will kill the rattler. Sorry, it's dope. While well, I was asleep, again! <laughs> yep. Oh, the wolf's gonna go away, but I'm gonna do four damage. Oh, I think that's just me winning, right? That's neat, so we have two resources now. Okay, so it's the next run. I'll probably start skipping ahead. Oh, oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Oh, what if anything's changed? It's beside the safe. There's the book with all the things. So many things. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick look. Yeah, I'm gonna have a quick look around, see if anything has changed. Oh! Squirrel red. River Snapper. Almost call it uh, Red Snapper then from WoW. Uh, yeah, so... I'm guessing this is the board it wants me to have. No enemies. Snapper Squirrel. 
That's not too difficult. Because before, that was the desk, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's changed. Okay. So I'll try and grab that. There's the figurines. Okay, ignore you for now. Squirrel still doesn't want me to stab the guy, which is fair, I guess. Oh! <laughs> Got some teeth. Ooh! I couldn't do that last time. Or I didn't try to... It's completely filled that with smoke. Is that good? I don't know if I unlock something or... Need a key. Okay, nothing there. Okay, I'm gonna just, um... Probably gonna speed through this now in editing. Oh yeah, the actual figure. Uh, can I choose any of them? Nope, I guess this one. Is, is my old one there, bunny chat? That's safe, let's move. That's safe, it's moving. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let us continue. So I've decided I am going to be leaving this episode here. We've got killed and everything else. Next time the editing is going to be way more intense. So we're probably going to do several runs focusing m mostly on the boss battles and everything else with more summaries and just um, looking around and trying to figure out all the different secrets here. I am really invested in this. So I am going to be recording probably the next video or two back to back here. So just to stay spoiler free, I'm also going to be using a friend of mine as a moderator to look at the comments for me so I don't get spoiled because I am so curious about where this goes. I just fancy his head. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Inscription is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I've just finished recording Stellaris, and this is a lovely change of pace. This whole week, I'm going to dedicating to just playing games I want to play. Also, I want to play, play Astoria and a few other things, because it's a nice, chill week for me. So, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day, and do take care. And until next time. What is in there?